guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new around here welcome to my channel my name is Jenny and I am you guessed it that props girl welcome back to video two of my series on isolation creation which is a series on DIY crafts that you can do with household objects whilst you're in isolation of course it's not limited to just being in isolation you can do these crafts at any given time however I thought with the current situation in the world what better time to do a whole series on DIY and easy crafts that you can do at home as we seem to be spending a lot more time at home. Now if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen a little bit of a teaser that I put up this week of a tray that I did and if you don't follow me on Instagram go follow me on Instagram because over there you see a lot of things that I don't show on my YouTube channel and some props that I've made previously that haven't made it over here yet. I'm really excited because today we're doing DIY DIY upcycling on what you can do with CDs. That's right. So many of us have moved over to Spotify and iTunes these days that some of these CDs are either scratched or outdated. And so I thought, what can we do with all of these? And so I've brought to you today just a couple of things that you can do to upcycle them and to make the most of them and not just throw them away because I'm pretty sure they're bad for the environment. Of course, if you don't want to smash up your CDs, you don't have to. You can go and get these mini mosaic tiles. I got these in Bunnings and they were really cheap and they're literally just little pieces of mirror, a bit like what you'd find on a mirror ball. They were really inexpensive and I thought they were great. I'll put a link to them down below. This series was created because studies have found that keeping our minds and hands active has actually helped to boost your mental health. And so I thought whilst we're all sitting around, instead of just watching Netflix, we may as well be making something while we're watching Netflix. So that's what's really inspired me to create this series for you and I really hope you enjoy it. What you need to do is get a bowl of hot water and what this does is it softens the CDs because they're actually quite hard and difficult to cut. You don't want to get copy CDs because they actually have stickers on them and they will peel off which isn't really what we want. They're great for the coasters that we're doing later but not for the mosaics. So you want a genuine CD that's got a graphic on it or one from a computer game. And then all you're going to do is just drop it in the hot water and leave it for 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes is up, you can pull the CD out of the water and cut it in half. Now you'll need a strong hand and a sturdy pair of scissors as they're very tough to cut. Whatever half you're not cutting, put it back in the water to keep it warm. As the CDs grow colder, they become more brittle and will shatter as you cut them. I just want to put out for a disclaimer that this craft is not for the faint hearted. I thought it was going to be easier than it was and it's not necessarily very hard, it just is a little bit more on the intermediate side and it requires a lot more time than I thought it would and muscle strength in your hands because CDs are really hard to cut through, who knew they were so thick? And so I wouldn't be putting this as a craft that you could think that you could do in a couple of hours. This is definitely an in it for the long haul kind of craft but the end result is stunning so if you want that beautiful end result Stick around because you're gonna love this. Hey you guys, just future Jenny jumping in here for a minute to say I'm really sorry that some of the footage didn't turn out as I expected. There was a malfunction with my camera, but I will fix it for next time. And so I hope you can make do with what I've managed to pull together for you. And as I said, I will make sure that it is perfect for next time. Bye for now. The first thing I did was get a coaster base. Now I got mine from a craft store, but you can use anything at home that you're willing to turn into a coaster if you don't have any. I then painted it white and left it to dry. Once the paint was dry, I covered it in a clear glue and began to stick the pieces of CD on. You may have to cut them further if they don't quite fit in the, in the spaces that you want them to be in. Make sure that you don't have any overhanging bits or they'll catch on things. It's basically like a big game of Tetris, and once it's covered, you're all done. If you don't want to use the mosaic method, you can also turn old CDs over and use them as coasters as they are, or you can get creative and paint yourself some artworks. Just make sure that you spray them with a lacquer first, otherwise the paint will spoil if you, as soon as you put anything on it. I upcycled this melamine bowl a couple of years ago and turned it into a pot for succulents, but I thought it could do with a facelift. 
I only did the mosaic pattern around the top because of the bowl's curved structure and the pieces didn't sit well on the curved lower sides. I also had to use smaller pieces for the same reason, but I love the end result. I've had this picture frame for years and I always thought it was a little bit odd and I don't know where those random marks came from so don't ask me. But I decided that it could use some love and so I painted the outside black to really define the edge and then went over the rest of the marks in white so you couldn't see them and then filled in the middle with the mosaic. This really made the picture pop. You could do this around any picture frame or even a mirror to get a very similar and beautiful effect. Have you lost your marbles sitting around? Well, go find them again because you're going to need them for this next one. Go find your marble. It's like a psychology book title. Maybe you'd already use one. I don't know. Maybe I'll write it one day. Who knows? The Psychology of Craft. Go find your marbles. I don't know. It's got a nice ring to it. For this one, I didn't use a broken CD. I simply turned a CD over and hot glued three layers of marbles around the outside to make a small wall. And then I put a tea light candle inside and just look at the beautiful effect. This is so simple and the refraction of light is stunning. I would just put something underneath the tea light so that it doesn't melt through the CD like a thick layer of blue tack. And the famous tray. There is a reason why the tray is, is in purple and the other ones are in silver. Do you know why that is? Stick around to the end to find out. All right, all right, all right. The tray was made out of DVDs. DVDs actually have a purple underside, not a silver underside. They actually have a purple plastic that's there and they come in two halves and they are pressed together. So in this one, you're going to be separating them. However, it's a lot trickier than it looks. Once they've been in the water for 10 minutes, take them out and cut them in half. And then you're going to try and separate the two layers. What we want is for the metallic skin to stick to the purple underside of the disc. So we can keep that lovely purple hologram. However, it's easier said than done and they can be very temperamental. I decided to paint the entire tray white to really make the purple stand out and I couldn't be more thrilled with the result. So which one's your favourite? Alright, well that's all I have for you guys. I hope you had some fun today. If you had to ask me what my two favourites were, they are either the tray or this picture frame. I love how this turned out and this one's very close to my heart because it's a picture of my grandpa and I and he recently passed away. He meant an awful lot to me. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my future uploads. If you do end up making some of these crafts, I want to see them. So please give me a like and leave me a comment if you enjoyed this video and also send your pictures over to me because as I said, I want to see them. This is an amazing craft to do and as you can see, the end results are incredible. I hope you guys are okay during isolation. Happy crafting and I'll see you next time.